Well, a lot of people are wondering what's going to be happening with this storm. There's still a lot of uncertainty, not as much as there was yesterday, but still some there. And we're in that cone of uncertainty, uh, meaning that uh, there's still a potential that it could be on our coast, but it's getting less likely that's going to occur as the models have started to shift to the east. And now they're pretty much uh, hold up. They're not moving back west much and they're not moving too far east. And that means we could get tropical storm force winds here. Uh, for certain, I think, in the interior counties as well as Sarasota and Manatee counties. The current path would take us into the rough weather late Sunday and into Monday morning. That's going to be the timing of the rough weather here uh, on its current uh, course. Potential flooding concerns. I want to bring this up because we are going to get some big storms even before the arrival of Irma as it moves along the east coast or possibly through the Bahamas. Uh, we are going to get the, the possibility of some feeder bands and that always brings isolated tornado risk to our region. On top of that, we'll be close enough, I, sus I suspect, that we will get put under a tropical storm watch and possibly a tropical storm warning. It could be even higher than that. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, as far as the storm goes itself, it's a very large storm. It's not just a Charlie. It's a big storm. It has a wind field of tropical storm force winds out over 100 miles from its center. And in some cases, to the right of the center and northeast of it, that's where we have over 125 to sometimes 160 miles off of the, uh, the, from the center of the tropical storm force winds. The forecast path, we showed you this earlier, showing it off toward the west-northwest. If it interacts with Cuba and follows this course, it will get beaten up a little bit more. But right now, the projection is for it to stay off and move as a category dangerous, uh, catastrophic uh, category four hurricane right into southeast Florida. And that means the winds will be very close to even category five at this point. Uh, and on Saturday morning, just to the southeast of Florida, and then by Sunday afternoon, making landfall and pushing off toward the north and slight, slightly to the northwest. Water temperatures extremely warm throughout this region, so there's still plenty, plenty of energy, and there's not a lot of shear expected or anticipated that would uh, cause the system to be downgraded any more than uh, a four, it looks like at this point. A lot of the forecast tracks still on the east coast. There are a few on the west coast, but again, these are all the same models with just little tweaks in it, the GFS. Uh, in particular, but the main models that we use for projecting, uh, projecting the storm are located along the east coast of Florida, which is not the best news for our state. Now, as far as the U.S. and British Virgin Islands go, it is pulling away, but it has left devastation behind in those islands. And as far as that trough is concerned, it continues to dig southward and off toward the east. It's a little stronger than projected. You can see these clouds moving off to the northeast right there. We hope that's still around as it makes its way through, but more than likely this, this trough is going to flatten out a little bit and head off into the Atlantic, leaving behind it a little piece of energy here as an upper level low, which will cause it to move more toward the north and possibly into the Carolina coast. Well, we have other storms, but not to worry. Jose is out there in the Atlantic, expected to move off toward the northwest into the open waters of the Atlantic. And we have a newly formed hurricane. This is Hurricane uh, Katia. And Katia is expected to move into Mexico, bringing with it some very heavy rainfall and some dangerous mudslides. Uh, into that coast of Mexico. So that'll be a problem as well. For us, a few showers are around right now uh, down near Northport and Port Charlotte, uh, heading off toward the northeast. We'll get to your forecast right now. The seven day looks like this. Uh, a 30% chance tomorrow, so plenty of time. The weather should cooperate for you to get the uh, activities done as far as picking up supplies for your hurricane supply kit. And then a good chance for storms on Friday, Saturday as well. And then the heavy rains move in late Sunday, Sunday night, and Monday morning. A possibility of flooding exists with that. We'll have much more coming up throughout the night.